All right, let's solve our last problem, uh, number 58 here. It's, uh, you guys can read through it, but essentially what you're doing is you're shoot shooting a projectile. This is kind of a tricky one. <laughs> why, why does that surprise you? Um, we're actually going to solve B first to solve A, and here's why. Um, we know that work is equal to delta KE. That's, that's one of the uh, equations that we had in the chapter. The amount of work you do can be related to the amount of uh, the change in kinetic energy. And B asks you, what's the change in kinetic energy since the projectile was fired, okay? So let's take a look at that. Uh, we know that we have potential and kinetic at the top because it's moving and it's up high. When it's on the bottom, we know we just have kinetic energy at the ground. So let's, let's write an equation here. We know that um, the PE at the top plus the KE at the top is equal to the KE at the ground, correct? That's the final KE, by the way. If we subtract KE at the top from both sides, look what happens here. This is kind of crazy. We know that the PE at the top is equal to the KE at the ground. What did we call that? The kinetic energy final minus the KE at the top. Isn't that uh, KE initial? What's, what's the term for KE final minus K? That's delta KE. So the PE at the top is equal to delta KE. Do you catch that? Well, didn't we also say that work is equal to change in kinetic energy? So if work is equal to change in kinetic energy and change in kinetic, uh, kinetic energy is equal to the potential, then we can just also say that work is equal to the potential in this case. All right, so that's a pretty easy thing to solve for because look at PE is equal to um, MGH. We know the mass is five. We know gravity is 9.8. And oh my goodness, we know the height is 25. We can easily find how many joules the um, potential energy is, all right? And that tells us what the work being done is. It also tells us the delta KE because they're equal to each other. So once you solve this, this is the answer for A and B. Pretty, pretty easy to get. What's the final kinetic energy of the projectile? All right, let's take a look at that. We, um, we know that the uh, KE at the top plus the PE at the top is equal to the final KE. It has to be, right? The uh, KE final. Let's just put KE down here, final. And that's actually pretty easy to solve for. We've already got the PE at the top. We solve for it here. Okay, so put that answer here. So all we have to do then is solve for the KE at the top, add it to that, and we know the final kinetic energy at the bottom. Well, this is equal to one half mv squared. Well, we know the m and we know the v. Oh, is it that simple? Yeah. So you just go one half mv squared, that's the kinetic energy at the top, add it to the PE that you found here, and guess what? That's equal to your KE final. And as difficult as this one looks, it's maybe one of the easier ones if you understand, you know, how we derived the answer. So you might have to watch this a few times to see the little tricks I played to solve for things, but it's really not that difficult of a problem to solve for. All right, good luck.